which I have to say work really well. I'm Bernd, uh, I'm 32, I'm a graphic designer uh, based in Stavanger, uh, ex Texas, London, Copenhagen resident. Um, yeah, I work mostly with digital and graphic design. Uh, I have a pretty sexual relation, I mean, open relation with um, browsers. Um, I do a lot of testing, so I have more or less every browser you can think of. Um, I've been using uh, Chrome, Brave, uh, and Safari mostly, uh, and I also have Firefox and Op Opera and yeah, Vivaldi uh, on my computer as well. Most important for me is uh, having a pretty like clean interface that it's not too cluttered. I focus on my designs. Also, a quick uh, browser. There's a lot of testing on. SCG animations and films and websites, so I need something that sort of works quickly and I need something that's easy to connect to, well, my, my different accounts and I can uh, save passwords and securely and use uh, usernames and all the login information that I have. The challenge is Webflow with Vivaldi, which we should be able to do. So um, we are working on a website for our company to sort of showcase some of the work that we've done over the years with uh, branding and identities and logos. We've got most of the content in place, but there's some tweaks and great stuff that needs to be sorted, but we can start with. So I have my Notion here, which has all my different notes, but I know what I'm going to do, so I don't need to open that. And then I have this group of tabs, which is probably my favorite function for someone who usually has one million tabs. I've cleaned it up for today. So this is what the website looks like now. There's some uh, scroll animations, um, made with Lotti and Webflow, which works really well. And when you scroll down, there's different stuff here. So one of the biggest issues I have with browsers is usually that when you have a site like this with a lot of animations, it usually goes really slow and it lags, and which is one of the nice things with Vivaldi is that there's a smoothness to all the content. It sort of flows really nicely. As you can see, there's still some work to be done, but the biggest issue right now, at least, which we can go through now, is this floating text in the middle of somewhere. So what we can do, which I just learned, is to have like a side-by-side -side thing, because then I can see what's happening here, which is nice. And if we scale this up, I can see where the problem is, and then I can go back to this, and let's find the place where everything is going, is breaking. So there's a different section. We're going to section five, which is the, this little renegade H1, which is just floating in the middle of nowhere. So the idea is to sort of get it to, see if we do with the, go back here, to get it to have like a parallax scroll the same way that this does. Let's see if we can get that to work for this section as well. So right now as well, there's like a scroll animation on, on, on this, which works really well. We'll probably have to do a lighter version for Internet Explorer. For all the good browsers, we should be able to have a decent animation on this. The Vivaldi can give us a live preview that works, and it does, which is nice. And then we can publish, and then see if it works as well here, and refresh. Oh, something seems to be working. Oh, there we go. So now we at least have the animation, so now we sort of need to tweak where it starts, because right now it's starting way too low. So so this starts about right, and then this should come in way earlier, uh, which we should be able to do pretty easily, uh, at least with this speed. Uh, so if we do, let's do that, just wrap it up to 2000, see what happens. Uh, live preview. Oh, it's probably the wrong way. Let's do 500. 
if it seems like it doesn't, I don't know what I'm doing, then, you know, it's sort of true, but I have, I can guess, let's see, this should work. And back to live preview. There we go, so now at least it's starting earlier, which is what we wanted. Now we can even do, let's do like 200 just to check if that's even better. And done, and let's just publish it because I'm that secure that this is completely what I want to do. Hopefully, refresh. And there we go, at least now it starts. Hold on, let me just check that it started the right place. Hard refresh is always good. And hard refresh again. So like I said, these animations are a bit heavy, so we definitely need to compress them a little bit. But now we at least see that the word is scrolling where we want it to instead of starting it way too low. So we got that to work, and all we need to do now is just tweak a little bit. We could take this section nine, for example, and just give it a bit more. Let's do like, let's not view height, that's a bit weird. No, oh, okay, view height. Let's do a 30 view height and padding on top. Should make everything. I'm a huge fan of white space. Um, and seeing as this is for my com or our company and I get to decide and not the client, I can just have a bunch of white space, which always makes me happy. There we go. So now at least the animation is working like it should. Um, and the publish function is super quick, which it usually isn't. There's usually always bugs. That's always a, that's a win, I guess, for the browser. And everything else is, I haven't broken anything. No, everything is working just like it should. So I won't start, you know, designing everything for you here because that would, we would probably be here all day, but at least we can see now that the animations are working as they should. Everything is smooth and loading super quick. Um, so that was one try at Webflow in Vivaldi, which I have to say worked really well. Like I said, there's a bunch of browsers and I tried them all and it sort of seems like there's pretty small differences in them, but Vivaldi is definitely a lot quicker than um, the other browsers that I've used lately. And there's definitely there's a what's it, like flexi flexibility in the UI, so the way that I can sort of style the, the browser as I want really makes me uh, makes my uh, minimal self happy that I can just hide everything and make everything white and, and light, which is what I like right now at least. <laughs>